We start by putting y square is equal to z. Taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x, we get 2y dy upon dx is equal to dz upon dx. Using this result, the given differential equation can be written as x square upon 2 dz upon dx is equal to x times z minus e raised to the power minus 1 upon x cube. Now multiply both sides with 2 upon x square and therefore we get dz upon dx is equal to 2 upon x times z minus 2 upon x square times e raised to the power minus 1 upon x cube. This can be rewritten as dz upon dx minus 2 upon x times z is equal to minus 2 upon x square times e raised to the power minus 1 upon x cube. Now this is a linear differential equation and the integration factor is equal to e raised to the power integral of the coefficient of z in the above differential equation which is minus 2 upon x dx. This is equal to e raised to the power minus 2 ln x which is equal to e raised to the power ln of x raised power minus 2 which is equal to 1 upon x square. Therefore the solution of the differential equation is given by z times the integration factor 1 upon x square is equal to integral the integration factor 1 upon x square times the right hand side of the above differential equation which is minus 2 upon x square times e raised to the power minus 1 upon x cube dx plus the constant of integration. Replacing z with y square we get y square upon x square is equal to minus 2 times the integral e raised to the power minus 1 upon x cube divided by x raised power 4 dx plus c. Now to evaluate the integral on the right hand side, let minus 1 upon x cube be equal to t. Taking the derivative of both sides, we get 3 upon x raised to the power 4 dx is equal to dt. Using this, the above solution becomes y square upon x square is equal to minus 2 times integral 1 upon 3 times e raised to power t dt plus the constant of integration. The right hand side is equal to minus 2 upon 3 times e raised to power t plus c. And substituting t is equal to minus 1 upon x cube. This is equal to minus 2 upon 3 times e raised to the power minus 1 upon x cube plus c. Cross multiplying, we get y square is equal to x square times in brackets c minus 2 upon 3 times e raised to the power minus 1 upon x cube. And this is the required solution.